My name is Sarah Hurst. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences, and I'm also a co-investigator on the science team for the Dragonfly mission to Titan. People frequently ask me why Titan is so amazing, and my usual go-to answer is what isn't amazing about Titan? There's extensive dune fields, lakes and seas made out of methane and ethane. It's the only place other than Earth in the solar system where it rains, which also means it's the only place other than Earth where right now you might be able to see a rainbow. Oh, I should tell people that you can fly on Titan. Did I tell you this? That you personally could fly on Titan? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, because Titan is smaller than Earth, the gravity is about one seventh, but the atmosphere is actually four times denser. And so one of the things that that means is that if you went to Titan yourself personally, and you had wings, you could flap your wings and fly. And that's one of the things that Dragonfly is taking advantage of. But one of the challenges is figuring out how to operate in an environment with these unknown materials. And so we have to do a lot of testing. What you're seeing is that we're putting energy into our gases and that starts chemistry. They often make new molecules that weren't there when we started. And those are the ones that we're really interested in to do things like test coatings for the windows on the cameras to make sure that Titan's environment doesn't cause us trouble. Because of course we can't send AAA to go um, solve any kinds of problems that we might have. Titan has absolutely the most complicated organic chemistry of any world in the solar system besides Earth. One of our big goals with Dragonfly is to actually figure out how far that chemistry has proceeded and what that means for what happened during early Earth's history and also for the potential of actual life on Titan today.